So what we're going to try and do here is mathematically solve wingspan. What is the, the greatest possible score that you could get? Um, and the way that we're going to be doing that is with, where are you? This one. So Eurasian Nutcracker. This is going to be our, our primary scoring third. Let me just flatten that out a little bit. Okay. So, um, first thing is the very, very first round in Wingspan is really, really important to get the engine set up. So, we are going to be playing with four opponents but the actions they're going to take are actually going to help us. Um, so the first thing is, this is one. That's a me. These are me. That is also a maybe. Just, just quickly sorting things. And then this one says so two players. Um, two players that help us get wheat. I need someone that helps us get eggs. And I know there is one, but I can't. I like preemptively pulled out some cards and then I completely changed my mind on how this was going to work. Um, each player gets one from the bird deal. That is the one I need. Is something that would help lay an egg. I don't know if we play a bird and then somebody else first to lay eggs action, I could lay eggs. That is possible. But there is a bird that says um, when when you yeah, lay egg in a specific I think it is a pink one. Maybe I don't know. I think it might be in the expansion. Um, when you lay egg in a specific nest, then you can. Everyone else can lay an egg in that nest. So I'm looking for the egg symbol. This card an egg. Nope. Lay two egg. Nope. We go when another player uses the lay eggs action. No, I have that one already. seem to find that. The problem is there's like 200 cards here and I'm trying to... Let's learn this first that I'll try to get through here. Because um, I have a feeling that might solve my egg problem. Um, otherwise we just have to play another, we have to play the, the cowbird which is an action um, that I have to spend and if I can avoid Spending actions, we can get more points, um, which is what we want. There we go. 
that's really bunting. Got him. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the starting hand of our four opponents. The first opponent is going to have the Lazuli Bunting. And the Lazuli Bunting, when activated, all players lay one egg on a cup nest type of bird. Um, which means that I can lay eggs and I can spend the eggs to then get my um, my birds that I need in the second and third rows and so on. We then need, um, so we then have the common nightingale, which costs one. Choose a food type, all players gain one of that food from the supply, um, which we're gonna use to help us pay for and spend um, to play our birds early. Um, we have two of those, one is the blue throat um, the blue throat being more expensive. So basically each of our opponents is going to, on their first turn, play a bird and then every subsequent turn activate that bird. Um, so I'm going to be this player a bit more. Um, I think this one too. That's our four. Our four. Uh, the ending. Um, so I have one that lays eggs. I have this will get me five every turn. And I want this. Okay. So I have one that gives me eggs. Um, and I'm gonna have a lot of carp. Oops, spam that around a bit. Make sure that's all good again. Okay. So we're gonna play a mockingbird and a catbird because they copy another bird's ability, which means that we can alternate between that and other things as we need it. So we, if we have heaps of excess wheat, we can dump extra wheat. Or if we have something that makes wheat, we can get extra wheat. Um, so there is a crow that eats eggs to make two of anything. I think that might work here because we'll have the Lazuli Bunting playing eggs for us. Um, and then the crow, so that's the wrong one, that makes one, this one makes two. Uh, and then the crow will turn it into, we, here we go, oh, it's the Chihuahua Raven. And the Chihuahua Raven, it's quite expensive. Um, Discard one egg from any of your birds to gain two wheat in this case. Um, which means that I'm gonna want another another bunting type bird, I think. I think, I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Because if I'm only getting one egg, I'm spending one egg, then I can't copy it to get more eggs. And I think I need a fifth bird. And at the moment, it could be the sparrow, but if it, uh, and the sparrow's in a different habitat, this is also in the wrong habitat. So maybe this won't work. This I can still play in the habitat, and it's not a big deal. But this I need to be activating a lot, so it's not going to work. I need something that's going to be in the. Uh, I like this actually. I don't get to activate it a lot, but hmm. What I'm starting to think is the nutcracker might not work, and the chiff chaff might be better. So I think the chiff chaff might be easier, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Um, Just look at stuff that goes in. 
uh, first take this which gets me three so basically we want to be activating for more than five points every turn where possible No, not quite. So we need to figure out how to get about six, minimum six wheat every turn. Um, I want to keep that to the side. If I have a hollow nest, I'm going to need that. Oh, okay, this could work. So the pine siskin says I tuck a card, and if I do, I get a wheat from the supply. Um, which means that I would take the duck, the duck that says everybody draw a card, and add that to one of these rows for what my opponents are going to be doing. Um, I'm still looking for supply from the supply. This does the same thing. All players gain one. I missed that before. I think we're getting close to where we want to be. What is this actually? No. Road stuff that's gain one and cash one. Something that, that's just cache something on this bird, I'm already doing. Oh, here he is. The common raven is the one that is in all areas. And the chihuahua raven is the wrong one. Okay, I think, I think we might have solved it. Let's over here for now. Okay, so we're going to... This. We're gonna get rid of this. So we've got three things that say, oh, this is the wrong food type. We have two things, two things that say, um, from the plot. So this might work in and as an extra. I'm not sure. We'll see. Because this this eats extra wheat. Um. These two both tuck a card, and all tucked cards are worth one point, so tucking cards gets us points, and they make wheat. But what I need is our allies making all players draw cards, which will give us cards to tuck, because we can't be spending actions drawing cards. Which means I need to find my other ducks. So I have a few. Yep, there's one. All players draw one. And then there's another duck. This is the European cards. So it's back in this section somewhere. Um, so that's one. Um, I think I just need the one more. Oh, 
So I know there's I know there's a few. There's a few different ones that say everybody draws one. Um, an activator just draw one. No, I want my I want my everybody draw one. Four players draw one from the deck. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think the main thing is that I don't really have this nest type, but I'm gonna hold on to this. Okay. So what I want is something like this. So each player is going to have um, a finite starting hand. They all evenly need about four resources. But they can only take five things, so they have two cards in hand and three food. So they will need to get one food at some point. But that's fine, we'll work that out. Um, and you want a wheat and a cherry as well. So along the side here, you can't quite see it on the camera, is our opponent's hands. Um, for the moment, that's not super important, but this is the main engine upon which we are going to be gaining things for our, our tableau and our scoring tableau. Um, and then now I need to do our starting hand. And then get our cubes. So we are the purple player. We have our purple action cubes. Okay, so let's just put these all over here for the moment. Just nice and in the corner. Keep bumping that. Um, I do have, do I have anything that matters to the bird food on? Yes. Yes, I do. So we are going to set up a, a bird feeder because I'm going to be rolling the dice, the air quotes. What we're going to do is we're going to assume that every single time our dice, when we roll, we roll the thing that we need. Because what we're doing is we're looking at the highest possible, best possible luck outcome. Um, so any time that there would be luck in the game, luck is mitigated because we just assume that we have gotten the correct outcome every single time. Um, so here's my little egg stash, I'll put that off screen actually. Oops, make a big mess, that's okay. Um, fix this, okay, so... The Eurasian Nutcracker is the thing that we play first because it will activate last. And we want to be able to gain lots of food before the Nutcracker will activate. Um, I think I only want one cat bird in the end, and I think I want the two tuck to get wheat, and then I think I want the common raven. So I think this is what my five cards are going to look like. Um, and then I want these two cards. So basically. What we are going to do is we are going to take one card, which is the Eurasian Nutcracker, and then we're going to have our own special deck that we draw cards from, which is what we would assume the cards are that we get if we drew from the communal deck. Because once again, we're doing the, the best possible luck outcome to get the highest possible score. Assuming every single thing goes right, everything that your opponent's doing actually help you. And yeah. Um, so I'm gonna put that aside as well because I don't think I'm gonna need it. So this should be six cards. Their order. Um, oh, so I'm gonna have the deck of cards of stuff that I need to be drawing. And then I'm gonna have the deck of cards that I'm going to be tucking 
Whenever I pluck a card, I'm just going to put it in a pile here rather than actually putting it under the card because that's a little bit too difficult. So I'm going to put these cards off screen just over here. Um, does the aura of which I draw things matter? Well, I won't stack it. I'll just pull out the one that I need. So this is going to be my starting hand. I'm going to take so the Eurasian Nutcracker, one wheat. Um, what is this next? Which means it's wild, wild mouse. So I'm going to take a mouse um, and an invertebrate and a fish. So this is my starting hand. Nutcracker and four food. Okay. So the other thing is that we're going to go last. All of the four other players in the game are going to go before us. And then our first action is play a bird. And then everything after that is going to be them acting before us and giving us food so we can play the things that we need. So the first thing that's going to happen is that our, um, our opponent's going to play birds first. So I've got a row here, um, which you can see some of, which is the first bird that each of them is going to place. Um, and in each case, it is um, a, a bird that makes food, except for the one that lays eggs. Um, and I've already laid out all the food that they need to spend for that. Okay, so we're going to put back in the my big pile, which is the supply. I'm going to put all this back here. And then one of the players, so I'll, I'll separate them so I know one to play. One of the players has still got two food left because the first thing they played only cost one. Um, so does this guy actually, he's going to have a wheat and an invertebrate left. Okay. And then it's our turn. So our four opponents have gone first, they've each played a bird in one spot, and then now it's our turn. And then what we do is we spend our one wheat, we play the Eurasian Nutcracker, and put our one cube down and play a bird. Okay, next, um, our allies go. So our ally activates the Lazuli Bunting, which gives us an egg, which we will need to play a bird in a minute. Our, our next one activates um, with a choose of food type, and all players gain one of that food from the supply. Um, actually, I might change that around. So let's take this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and all players will gain one food of that type from the supply, which will be a wheat, and probably will be a wheat for a long time. So our little pile of stuff that we've got. And okay, and the next one, choose a food type. All players gain one food from the supply of that type. And then the next one is all other players draw one card from the deck. So we're gonna draw a card. And we're gonna get the common raven. Okay, so now it's our turn. We're going to do the play a bird action. We're going to play the common raven. It costs one egg, and it costs two wild and a rat. So I'm going to spend everything that we have that's not wheat. And now we have the common raven. And now we go to our these guys. Turn. So it, it, the the lazuli bunting specifically lays eggs in cup nests, so it has to go here. And then we're going to get uh, what's our next bird going to be? Um, I think, I think the Eurasian tree sparrow is the one to go. So I can play that last. And then these require me to have excess cards. So the Eurasian tree sparrow is going to be the next one. Um, so I need to get a regally. Um, and then I'm going to get a wheat. And then I'm going to draw the card, and it's my turn. I'm going to play a bird, but I get to play it in this spot. It doesn't need to be activated because it's once between turns. Uh, and we don't need to pay the egg, because it's not up in its rows. Um, and it costs an invertebrate and a wheat. Cool, so now once between turns, when another player takes the gain food action, we get a wheat. So this is going to give us one wheat for every opponent's turn that activates something in the green row. 
which is one of them so far. Um, okay, we then go to our opponent's turn. We get to lay an egg. And we then get one type of food from the supply. So what's our next bird we're going to play? Um, we're going to get started on these bird tucking worms. So it costs wheat and it costs no bird. So we're going to get an invertebrate. Um, and then the next time we're going to get a wheat. Uh, one of these is a food action, so that will give us an extra wheat. Uh, and then we have, we draw a card. So we're going to get the pine siskin. Okay. Then on our turn, on the bridge play turn. So we're going to play another bird. And play the pine siskin. It costs an egg. And it costs two wheat, which we have. Okay. As you can see, the engine is getting started. We're getting really close. Um, in three turns, we're going to need to make sure that we have the house sparrow down and five excess wheat, and hopefully five excess wheat for this too. Okay. So next thing, um, do I need an egg just yet? Yes, I need an egg. So we're going to get an egg. Then we're going to go choose a food. So that gives us a wheat. Um, and then it's going to choose to give us an extra wheat. Oh, it's just going to give us a cherry. This is going to give us a wheat. And this is going to draw us a card. So then the house spire is now in our hand. Okay. Uh, and then we go to the next turn. So the next turn, I don't need an egg. But what, so the action they're going to take is play a bird. So whenever I don't need an egg, that can be giving me a wheat instead. And the next one um, could be giving me a wheat. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay, I mean, it's already, they've got heaps of excess food, fat, and I'm going to get, it's going to play the duck, and the duck is the one that will make everyone draw a card, which I'm going to need. Um, and it's in the same row. These are not in the same row. These are in the same row. So I could also play this. Okay. And this also all in the same row. So now we don't get any benefits from them this time, but now they've all played a second bird all in the same row that are all going to activate and give us double the extra things that we need. So it's now our turn. We're going to play the house sparrow. It costs two eggs. So it costs one egg. Got confused, but two eggs, one egg. It costs one egg, and it comes here. And it says at the end of each round, we, we bin our five wheat and we um, tuck one card for each. Okay, so now we've played a bird. Our opponents activate. So I get an egg. I get a wheat. I get another wheat. I draw a card. So I'll draw the important cards first. We get, we get another wheat. Um, and then we get another wheat, because there's now two birds that give us food in that area. Uh, and then this one gives us one. Gives us two. Oh no, it uses the food action once. Okay. So it gives us one. One extra wheat every, every opponent's turn. That's really not as good as I thought it would be. But that's okay. It gives me one extra wheat without having to activate anything. So it costs one action and it gives me one wheat every turn. I guess that's fine. Um, so I've done that. And we got this one. Uh, I drew the first card. Okay, we got this one, which is starting to draw excess cards. This one is just draw cards. So the face down cards I have at the top here are going to be the junk cards that I'm just going to be tucking for things. So then on my turn, I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to spend two eggs. I'm going to play this. OK, so we're getting close to needing to have the five things, the five things handy. OK, so the idea 
is getting close. We haven't really scored many points yet, but the engine is almost online. Um, okay, so what's next? Our opponents go. I get an egg. Um, all players get a wheat. All players get a wheat. All players get a wheat. Soon I'm going to be starting using just anything. <laughs> and I'm going to run out of wheat tokens. Um, I get a wheat from this. And then I get a wheat from that bird. And then I draw a nothing card. And then I draw a nothing card. And then I draw a nothing card. So I'm going to be drawing four cards. Three cards. Three cards every turn. Okay, so I don't have enough eggs to play a bird. So the last action is going to be playing a bird. This action is going to be gaining food. So I'm rolling three dice, and they all come up wheat. What a surprise. All right, so we get three wheat. Let's see up. We move across. Um, so we now activate the dark-eyed junker. We tuck a card, and then we get a wheat. And the next one. We tuck a card, and then we get a wheat. I don't need to discard an egg, because I need to save it for the next round. So I'm going to skip that. And then this one, when activated, choose one to five birds in your cache, and choose one wheat from your supply. So then cache on it. OK, so here's five. I'm just going to make a pile here, because it's going to get huge, and this will get really messy. I don't really want to have to deal with just yet. But then that's our turn. And this comes and we, we gain food one time. And the next one. Um, our opponents go, we get an egg, which we're going to need. And we get a wheat. Um, then we get a wheat, then we get a wheat, then we get a wheat. And we get lots of wheat. It's just the second opponent. And then the third one, we get one more wheat. And then we draw three cards. face down it's a bit easier for me I wish I had it up here before didn't I okay oops I'm making a mess I'm so clumsy okay so now I have five cards in hand and it's my turn so I definitely have five wheat to be able to tuck five cards with this so that's fine uh, with the house sparrow so I'm not really worried about that um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna do the play bird action it costs two eggs and play the cat bird. Now the cat bird is going to copy the nutcracker. And the nutcracker is going to let me put 10 every time. Or I'll tuck more cards to get more wheat. I can alternate between the two based on how much wheat I'm holding. Um, and then that's the end of that. And then we do the end of round. So this end of round ability triggers. We discard five wheat. So I'll keep them separate because I know I'm going to be pulling them out any time now. I really should have organized it. All right, then two more. And then I tuck five cards. Three, four, five. Uh, and then we do the end of round scoring. So, um, and we're not doing podium scoring. We're doing the up to five points one. So we're going to be picking stuff for each round that we'll always score five points for. And so the first one is cards in hand. Um, so we have five cards in hand. So we're going to get five points. And I have not got track on me. the track. Um, well, actually, we would score more points if we just had more than everybody else. I guess that works. Let's do that, because that's going to be easier for me to worry about. I don't have space for it on camera, but it's going to go over here to my right. And for the first round, we're going to take a cube, and the first round is cards in hand, and we have the most cards in hand. What a surprise. So we will get four points. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. My apologies. So that's the first round complete. Okay. The next round. Um, let's put these back over here. Oh, I want them above. We'll come back to that. That's fine. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, our opponents activate. We get an egg. And I don't need to be spending the eggs just yet. Um, all players get a wheat. And then three wheat from the next player, and then one wheat from the next player, and then I'm drawing three cards. Okay. And then it comes to our turn. And then on our turn, we're going to activate the food row. Um, which we can discard a card to get an extra wheat. So we're going to get four wheat from that. Okay. We then can activate the catbird to copy the nutcracker. So we're going to go, yes, absolutely. We're going to cache five wheat. And we have the next one. Tuck a card, get a wheat. I've now run out of wheat in the reserve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting here anything other than wheat. Um, and the next card, let's put our cube on it. Um, tuck a card, get a wheat. What, the type doesn't really matter anymore. Um, and then the next one. Um, eat an egg, get two of anything. Eat our egg. And then this one. Cache five. That's five. Okay. Here we go. That's our turn. And that's what our turn is going to look like for the rest of the game, pretty much. Um, so the first round is all set up. We try and efficiently as possible build the engine. And our, our opponents all do kind of the same thing. They all put down their two birds that help us and then activate that same row every single time. And they do that for the rest of the game as well. Um, and then now at this point, basically, we're just looking at what the maximum score is we can do by repeating this loop. So we're probably going to speed through this pretty quickly. Uh, all right, so gain egg. Get four food, five food. Get three cards. Activate this, five food. Ah, oh, I get one, two, three, four, and this kind of card. And then turn that, oh, this into cache with the cat bird. And then tuck one, get a wheat. And then tuck one, get a wheat. Um, and then pay this, get two wheat. And then activate this to cache um, five. Put the cube over here. Okay, activate again. We get an egg. Um, then we're going to get one there, three here, so four, five, and then three cards. We're then going to cache five. One, two, three, four. Oops, that's one too many. Five. Um, and then going to tuck one and get one more. I'm going to tuck one, get one more. And so now the crow is going to take this and give us two more. I have a feeling I have more food production then I can stash, and I probably could have put the extra cat bird in there, but that's okay. Um, and then we're going to tuck five. So two, three. And then it goes here. Then we come back, egg. We get five food. We get three cards. 
we can get three food. This is kind of fun. Get one more. And then we're going to cache five. So three, four, five. And we're going to tuck one to get a wheat. We're going to tuck one to get a wheat. And we're going to bin this, get two more. And then we're going to cache five. That's our turn. Can use the same thing again. I'm going to get five. I'm going to draw three cards. I'm going to discard a card. I'm going to get four food. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to cache five. I'm going to put two, get two wheat, make food, right? Um, and then we're going to cache five. So now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for each cube, I'm just going to add a row of ten and two cached cards to speed this up an extra bit. So this is five, this is five, two cards and a cube. This is five, and this is five. And then cache two. And then the last round. There's actually gonna be more caching than there is rounds. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, so this is just the end of round two, and we already have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, and a huge stack of caged cards. And my best score playing this game is 128. And assuming everything went correct mathematically you could beat that by the second round i think what i was doing with the, with the common raven probably wasn't the best we could have had another cat bird in there we could have been putting down almost twice as much um wheat caged and so my estimate is that you could get easily over 300 points more i would i would run out of food tokens before i could possibly find the end of how many points we could score. We could probably look at something that puts the entire deck into tuck somewhere. So the, the upper end of points that you could possibly get um, is actually crazy. And that's kind of what I wanted to explore today. And that's kind of one of the things that, that you should be thinking about when you're designing a game, that there's going to be people playing it that try and mathematically break it and try and find a way to streamline a way to a victory, try and find the infinite combos that go crazy. Um, and because of the way the wingspan works, where it has an exactly finite number of turns, it's interesting to see exactly how min-maxed every potential action could be. But that's it. I just wanted to kind of have a look at that, have a think about that, um, have a bit of a discussion about that. Um, and that's it, I guess. <laughs>